The black-footed ferret is unique in that it is the only ferret species in North America. They have black feet, they have a black tip tail, black face mask, they have very pronounced canines which they use to uh, suffocate their primary prey which is the prairie dog. Black-footed ferret is often confused with the domestic ferret that you might see at pet stores but is a completely different species. The ferret that you see at the, in the pet stores is a domesticated European ferret and the black-footed ferret is Mustela nigripes. That's its scientific name. Being that it was solitary and nocturnal, we really didn't know much about it until in 1851, John Audubon described the black-footed ferret. Generally, what we think anyway, is that ferrets ranged from Canada to Mexico, basically wherever there was adequate prairie dog population to sustain them. Prairie dogs are fundamentally important to black-footed ferrets. Ferrets are nearly totally dependent on uh, prairie dog systems and prairie dog habitat for their own survival. Prairie dogs are their main prey and they live in prairie dog burrows. The ferret uses the prairie dog burrows to escape from predators like coyotes and badgers and owls and also to raise its young in those underground burrows. Prairie dogs are basically room and board for black-footed ferrets. Whatever happens to prairie dogs, that basically dictates what happens to ferrets. During the early 1900s, there was a lot of poisoning of prairie dog populations. To reduce the competition that's perceived between prairie dogs and cattle grazing, livestock grazing in general. There was westward expansion of a growing North American human population and conversion of a lot of prairie habitat for agricultural purposes was lost. So unknowingly, we were losing black-footed ferrets probably. Ooh. There is that history, and, and that, of course, uh, early on was thought to be the main problem ferrets had. Also during this time, there was a, an exotic disease. It was introduced into North America in the early 1900s called sylvatic plague. Plague is something that North American animals, prairie dogs, are not evolved to deal with. It has a devastating effect killing prairie dogs and black-footed ferrets. Back in the 60s, they were actually thinking that the black-footed ferret may be extinct because they just can't find it. A population was found in South Dakota in the mid-1960s. That population was studied. We did learn a little bit about the life history of black-footed ferrets. And actually, some of those animals were brought into captivity and produced offspring. Unfortunately, all those offspring died. In 1972, uh, a black-footed ferret was found dead in a stock tank near Leo, Wyoming, which is outside of the Shirley Basin area. And that was the last known animal uh, that anybody had seen, any specimen or any evidence that, that possibly they still existed. By the time the Endangered Species Act came along in 1973, they were already recognized. They were one of the first ones listed, but, but before that there was recognition that they were rare. Less than 2% of prairie dogs exist now than did historically. So you can see why black-footed ferrets would become endangered. The late 70s in Wyoming, there was a lot of coal, what they called strip mining. And before the big shovels could go in and get to the coal, they had to ensure that they weren't disturbing any endangered species. So our job with the Fish and Wildlife Service then was to go out survey those areas for black-footed ferrets and then either give them the green light to go ahead and proceed with mining or not. And up to that point, we had not discovered any black-footed ferrets on those coal lease areas. We think that the last wild animal from that population in South Dakota died in 1974, and the last captive animal died in 1979 and they hadn't been seen in the wild or verified in the wild for uh, several years. We thought the ferret was extinct again.